press start. All right, welcome back everyone to Police Simulator. We are back here again today in Brighton City, and today we're going to be doing another day shift here, starting off in the Brixton District, and we'll be in the SUV again today. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. What is with this happening? What is with this happening? Whenever you turn, you don't have the damn right of way. Are you, are you serious right now? They have got to fix this. They have got to fix this. Because that is not my fault. Everyone knows if they both have a red light, or if they both have, have a green light, the person going straight has the right of way. Period. Okay, well, let's take some pictures, and then I'm going to pull him over after this for his uh, broken windshield. Because um, I have a feeling he's impaired, and uh, something's not right, because... His judgment in that is just stupid. He's got to be impaired. And then I guess I got to go get another vehicle. Go ahead and turn call outs off. I cannot believe this right now. I can't even believe I have to sit here and apologize to him for that. My apologies for the accident. The damage will be covered by the police department's insurance. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let me see your ID and, if available, this vehicle's insurance, please. Sure, officer. Here you go. I should be able to, you know, run his information like normal, but it just literally does Here's that where report. he looks at Please it, gives him his accident report, and then the call's over with. Brighton Police Department will I can't investigate or anything. I just take pictures uh, and let him go. And exhaustive report. Thank you, officer. Which is not realistic at all. We're done. You can leave now. Have a good day. And I can't even because his car's totaled. They, can I detain him for anything? I don't think I can. What a lucky bastard. I have a car Piece here of crap, tower. man. Please send a tow truck to my current location. Has already been to your that location. is unfortunate. I mean, I guess I could follow him around, but I mean, what what fun is that? Just walk, following a guy around walking. <laughs> So, well, thankfully, I didn't get too far away from the precinct. I literally just came down the road here. So, uh, let's just go in here and get a quick repair, I guess. I don't know. I can't believe that, man. That literally happened in the last episode, too. The last time I was going to a call, so I was going a lot quicker. It scared the crap out of me. All right, well... Let's go ahead, let me jump out of my car here, and let's turn callouts back on, and the reason why I did that is because if I do it in the car, it'll turn my left turn signal on, and it just sticks, and it stays on, which is annoying, but anyway, alright, well, let's, <laughs> let's jump into it now, maybe we'll get a call, or find a car to pull over, um, and hopefully nobody else just runs into us like that. Let's do it. <laughs> Thankfully, this wasn't too far away either. It's literally right down the road here, so... Don't have to worry about traffic as, as long. Let's get out of here and let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to need securing poles for this. So let's go ahead and uh, grab those. I do believe this is one of those where we're going to need the securing poles. So let's put those out here and let's see where we need to pin this off at. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's one down there. And let's try and cut all this off here. Come on, game. Stop being silly. There we go. I hate it when we have, like, two different ones here. Like, why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Very annoying. 
I don't know how the game determines what's a crime scene and what's not. Obviously, the <laughs> the proximity of where all the evidence is, but why is it? You know, if I were to do this exactly correct, I would have to like put one along these lines, and it would just that's stupid. Why wouldn't you just do it around the outskirts of everything? But I don't know. And this, like when it connects three, like a three-way connection there. That why why does it do that? Let me see if I can just let me just do this. There we go. Now technically, this isn't complete <laughs> because I haven't, you know, done all this. So I'm just going to do this. See, look, the game still isn't satisfied, and it's completely secure. Even if I didn't do this, because this is just stupid. Let me just do this. There we go. Well, it says it's secured, but then I didn't get anything on the progress bar. This game sucks donkey balls, man. It just doesn't work like it's supposed to. And I mean, I love this game to death, man. It's, I mean, it's brought on a lot of good support. You guys seem to like it, but man, they just don't fix anything see if maybe we can do that there we go I've secured the accident scene very very thoroughly god almighty man this is stupid oh good gracious okay let's get our evidence markers out and uh do as we normally do. Let's go ahead and start marking some stuff here. Actually, before that, let's talk to some folks. Thankfully, we don't have like four or five people, which is annoying. It's stupid repetitive. We only got is it three. I guess we got three people. I thought we only had two there for a second. So let's talk to this guy over here, just hiding in the corner. Tell me what you saw. Yes, officer. A person wearing a balaclava came out of the store and headed towards the parking lot. Fantastic. Let's get his ID. I'd like to see your ID, please. Okay, officer. There you go. Alright, let's give him back his ID and let's go in here and take a look. And everything's good to go. He doesn't have a gun permit, though. That's not really a concern of mine. So we'll go ahead and let him go. You're good to go. Bye. Just a witness, so that's all we needed. Go and have a chat with this gentleman. Tell me what you saw. Yeah, yeah. There was this person who all of a sudden just ran out of that store. All right, let's get your ID. Your ID, please. Here you go, officer. All right. And this guy's in the same boat. He's been convicted of robbery, though. That's interesting. Interesting being in a robbery scene... When you've been convicted of a robbery, you know, <laughs> but we'll let him go. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Don't have any evidence against him, so there's no need for us to detain him or hold him here. Just based off of his history. But let's have a chat with this lady now. It should be the last person. Can you tell me what you saw? Sure, officer. I saw someone fleeing in that direction. I'm certain that the scene is a robbery. Where the wanted subject was let seen. me see your, your ID, open, please. Officer. Sure. Uh, here you go, officer. I don't know why she sounded so nervous. No valid insurance. Not really worried about that because she's not driving a vehicle. Um, everything else looks good. You can leave now. Have a great day. Just double check. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was good. Okay, I just wanted to run through all that one more time just to make sure all that was good. Um, but yeah, we got evidence markers now, so now we can go through and find all of the last puzzle pieces of this. And looks like we got a handgun there. Holy cow. Keep on looking. Oh, I'm literally standing on all this cash. Didn't even register. I'm gonna pick that back up because that didn't show a number on it, so I guess it wasn't like on the money enough. What the? What is this guy doing? Just jaywalking. At least you went around the crime scene, dude. So I'm not really mad about it. All these other random people just start running into the crime scene. Now let's try this again. 
I put this. There we go. Now we got the glass. So that would be three. We got a crowbar here, which will be four. And before I continue looking, I'm just going to make sure that we got everything. So I'm going to get my camera out. We're going to take a picture of all the evidence that we have so far. Just to see if we can get the progress bar full. If we're missing anything, then we'll just keep looking. Um, got that. Okay, there it goes. About to say, like that cache isn't popping up like it's supposed to. That's alright, we got it now. Should be the last one over here, hopefully, with this crowbar. Please be the last one. Oh, no, it wasn't the last one, because there it is right there. Go ahead and get our evidence marker out, and get that glove. That's so hard to see, man, if you're not paying attention. Thankfully, when I pulled the camera up, it popped up on my camera here. I've taken care of the crime scene. Perfect. You can send in the other units while I continue with my other duties. All right, we're looking for an Anissa Ger Gerard. Gerard? I'm not even. Gonna, I just completely botched that name, but whatever. Um, so this female here, uh, age 32, gray suit, brown pants, and armed. So, which we would presume that she's armed anyway. But let's take a look at the map and make sure we're in the area. Um, which we are, which is good. So we're going to circulate a little bit, see if we can find her, um, and then take her in for her robbery. Because um, thankfully we were able to positively ID her based on all the evidence we found. I think we found her. This is not really. But later. Much, much later. Alright, I've been looking around. I'm, I'm talking like probably 10 minutes. Which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but if you're just driving around in this bubble, like, that's a lot of time to be looking around. This lady looks exactly like who I'm looking for. The only difference is she's not wearing brown pants, but her face matches almost to a T. She looks hammered as crap. Whenever I stare at her, it says it's not the wanted suspect, but I'm going to detain her. Just because she matches the description. I've detained you because you fit a Why? description provided by the police computer. This Why? Is ridiculous, officer. One debt to society later. That could be the one I suspect. You guys have no idea how long I have been looking for this lady. You have no idea. And I've like, I, th I feel like I've stopped this lady before and it said... It wasn't her, but, you know. There's so many people that look alike on this game, it's so stupid. They use the same, like, faces for just about everybody. They only have, like, six or seven different <laughs> character styles, so... Anyway, so we're going to detain her, um, because she matches the description of the person we're looking for. I stopped you because you match a description. What? Yep, and you'll notice at the type already, I have, uh, you know, you start out with 100 CP and I have 98 now. I actually detained somebody else that looks exactly like her, and it said it wasn't the person. And it deducted points for me, because I... I've, and apparently to the game I did something wrong, but, you know, in all reality I didn't. But anyway, she matches the description. We got the right person. Let's just get her ID. ID please. And we'll charge her. Here you go, officer. Alright. And... No open warrant. Did she give me a... Okay, this isn't the lady. This isn't the lady. Are you actually kidding me right now? Unless she gave me some fake ID. Black female. I mean, there's no way for me to validate this. There really is no way, because it, female, black, IDs expire, no gun permit, convicted of selling narcotics, and uh, convicted of credit and debit card fraud. Nothing else really gives me anything, but if you look there on the I'm left, I can't make it in time. That's not the right person. Name doesn't match. He's avoiding eye contact. Okay, well we're definitely going to search you. We won't necessarily search her. Let's just frisk her. Allow me to do a pat down search. Because that doesn't really constitute a full illegal. search. Man, I don't, I don't know what else I can do. I gotta let her go, cause it, I mean, I can't tell if it's a fake ID or not, or a stolen ID. Like she could have put her face on somebody else's ID, but 
There's no way for me to prove that because she's a female. It says female. She's African American. It says black. <laughs> so it's like, what do I do? It's I gotta fun. let her go. Have a nice day. She matches the description, but she's not the wanted suspect. It says that could be the wanted suspect. Typically indicates that's the person. I guarantee you something's going to disappear. That little uh, find the wanted person thing on the left is going to disappear. Well, I guess I'll keep looking. And if it disappears, then that was indeed her and she just gave me a fake ID, but I can't prove that. Man, this game... This game's been failing. Absolutely failing. The wanted person, you son of a bitch, game. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so ticked off right now. I am so ticked off right now. Man, I cannot tell you how irritated I am because of that. I sat there in that area looking for 20 minutes after I found that person that matched the description before it decided to tell me, hey, the person escaped. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? I'm going down a one-way road. I need to focus. Let me just take a breather here. Not get somebody killed by going down a one-way street. They go left here, and let's see if we can get to this accident. Man, I can't, I don't, I don't know what to say. Alright, well we've made it to the accident, let's try and let that go and not let it impact us too much. Go make sure nobody's injured. Everybody seems to be good, which is good. So let's go ahead and start talking to this lady. Can you describe what you saw? I was daydreaming and forgot to use a turn signal before turning. I'm sorry. It is. I or excuse me. Get her ID. Please show me your license and vehicle registration. I don't know what to say about that, man. Yes, officer. It there was. I literally searched that area and could not. I, I I talked to like probably two different people. One person was completely. Matched the description and it gave me negative points for it. Um, and the other, it wasn't the person, but it said it was. So <laughs> it's just crazy. Now this lady's giving me a fake ID. I assume the insurance fake if the person on this ID's fake because their name says Lev, and then the insurance card says Lev. So. I assume that's incorrect too, but we'll see. Dilated pupils. All right, well we're gonna check her for alcohol and drugs I'm anyway. So let's do that. To see if you've been drinking and driving. Let's do a drug I'll test. A Everything's good with alcohol. Drugs before driving. And she's under the influence of amphetamine. Gotta love it. All right. We'll come back to you in a minute. It's probably the cause of the crash. Don't be doing drugs and driving, kids. Stay in school. Guess this is the only other person. What? Yeah, everything's fine. You're good to go. Bye. If I didn't do that, he'd literally just stand there saying, "Excuse me, can you help me, officer? Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me hear what you saw. Excuse me. I definitely used Excuse me. turn signal, officer. Let me have a look at your license and registration, please. Here you go, officer. All right, let's take a look at her ID here. Registration is invalid. No gun permits. Convicted of DUI cannabis, so we'll definitely be doing a test for alcohol and drugs like we normally do, but we'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, let's just check if you're under the influence of alcohol. 0.01. Nothing too bad there. Do a drug test. I just need to collect a sample to see if you're under the influence of any illegal substances. Nothing there. All right, cool. Well, this is going to be a pretty quick crap. You look like... What are you doing, lady? You're glitching like hell. And I, I see the ponytail and the, the character. This is like the same character I was looking at before. I'm just going to be haunted by that all day. Because I couldn't find her. 
Even though I found two of her twins. I know, I need to get over it. I need to get over it. But I can't, because the game glitches and it's annoying. You guys let me know if you guys are still enjoying watching this stuff, because... It does get repetitive, it's the same stuff, it's the same calls. Nothing really varies, and with law enforcement, I mean, I've been a police officer before, I've since, you know, resigned and I'm not an officer anymore, so I, I know how this stuff works, and it, you never have the same encounter every time. You never do it. You, it's, it's a type of job that, you know, you're not working 8 to 5 working on a schedule every day type of job you know where it's the same thing every single day police officers even paramedics and firefighters I'll, I'll throw them in there too it's different you know you're not gonna have the same thing every day it's 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 gonna be something new every day something's gonna happen so I don't really get that same vibe from this you know it's it's a fun game don't get me wrong I love it it's 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 brought a lot of success to the channel I'm glad you guys enjoy it but I just want to make sure you guys are still enjoying it because um, I mean this this has been a mess of an episode <laughs> but you know I guess maybe it makes for good entertainment you guys let me know but anyway let's go ahead and start handing out accident reports okay we're gonna up taking this lady report. to jail because she's under the influence report. of amphetamine Thank you. so let's go ahead and start uh, issuing some charges uh, let's see handcuffs First and foremost, she is driving with a fake ID, um, so we'll be giving her a charge for that. And also, let's go in here. Do you want amphetamine? I'm going to cuff you now. Please then move to the sidewalk. Are you sure that those are all offenses? Doesn't everybody do them? And that's has forever been just the dumbest line ever. But anyway, go have a stand, sit, whatever on the sidewalk. We're gonna search her car. Make sure she don't have anything illegal in here before we tow it off. And we'll need to do a full search on her too. I don't think I've done that yet. So we'll do that as well after we're done with the vehicle. So far so good though. This trunk is just destroyed. I'll dent it up. Let's get these last two compartments here and we'll be good to go if I, we don't find anything. Wouldn't be shocked if we find some type of narcotics. Just based on, you know, her being under the influence and all, but maybe not. A handgun. Let's see if we can take a look at the plate. See if we can get like a positive ID on her. So the plate is out too. So this is the ID she gave us and the plate is out too. Is there a charge for that? Let me see. I want to look into this a little bit. I might spend some time in here just to see. So I feel like the insurance is fake because it's got a fake... Um, I mean, let me just go a little deeper in this. This is why this game needs to be a little more in depth. Typically, you have your VIN number, right? Sometimes either in the, you know, windshield here, on the door, you know, you can you can find the VIN number for the vehicle, right? So you can look up if a vehicle is stolen by the VIN number. I don't have to go into my police computer based off the, just the plate alone to see if it's, you know, because it's like this, it could be a fake plate. You're not going to get any information on this. I should be able to do a little bit more investigating to be able to dive in to see if one if this vehicle is stolen and two to find out you know if it is registered to her I'd be able to ID her you know and she hasn't given me her name that should be another charge you know not IDing yourself and tell me who you are you know I mean I don't even have an option to ask her for her name you know <laughs> you know so man uh, I get off my soapbox, but okay. I don't know if she has an open warrant. We don't know if the car's stolen. We don't know if she's missing a driver's license. Um, fake insurance. I feel like I will charge her for that. I'll probably lose points on it, but based on her name being incorrect on the fake ID, and it's also on her insurance card that she gave me, I feel like that should be um, fake as well, but we'll, we'll see. It'll probably give me negative points, but... Um, Let's see, nothing narcotic-wise other than what we already charged her for. Um, 
crime scene. There's nothing going to be in there. Nothing going to be in weapons. I would charge her for the gun, but I don't know if she has a permit or not. She didn't flee, so I, there's really nothing else on the vehicle I can do. Like, I can't charge her for having falsified information on the vehicle, whatever that charge would be. I don't know if that's a charge or anything, but... You're under arrest for all and there's the negative five committed. points for the insurance. You cannot prosecute me yourself. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Man. If anybody on the development team for this game is watching this... How you doing, officer? I mean, I'm not trying to bash the game at all. Really, I'm not. I love the game, but... There's a lot of opportunities here to make it a little bit better. Lots, lots of opportunities. Go and call I a tow truck. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. I have to search you. Kindly cooperate with me. Do a quick search on her while we're waiting on that tow truck, and then we'll go give that other lady her accident report and uh, get her out of here. <laughs> Perfect. I can't exactly remember. Let's see. Let's take a look at her ID again for this lady. Um, so we'll give her an insurance for her, or give her an insurance, we'll give her, <laughs> what am I talking about, my, my mind on the insurance, we'll give her a ticket for the registration, um, and I think that'll be it, and honestly, I may not even give her a ticket for it, I may just give her a warning, um, let's see, let's look, see if she's had history on this before, registration, nope, nothing, so we'll give her a warning, um, let's see, car, Fired plate. Let's just give her a verbal warning. I'll let you go with just a verbal warning for this one. Many thanks, officer. Here's your accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. All right. You can go now. Drive safe. All right. I don't think she's going to be able to drive this thing off, so we'll go ahead and call a tow truck for it as I well. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Tow truck will arrive at your location shortly, officer. Awesome. Well, let's call a uh, transport for this lady. I need backup. Take Wait for them to respond, take her into custody, and then uh, we'll jump back out on patrol. And we'll see what else we can find today. Assistance required. Is an officer I'm available? On their way. You can count on me. Crap, I didn't mean to get out of the car. <laughs> that was awkward. Like, yep, I got it. I'm just going to walk there. Dispatch, I got this. No, we're not going to walk there, but we'll drive there. Let's go on and head over here and uh, respond to this drug deal in here. Got my lights on here. I know this is a right-hand turn lane, but we'll turn left just to get up here a little bit quicker. Put our lights off here, and I'm thinking it's going to be here on the left. Yep, in this alleyway. Flip a Yui here. I've arrived in the area. I'll start looking for the suspect. And let's go take a look and see what we can find here. Oh, looks like we already got a deal going on right here. Oh, there goes the drugs. Looks like it's the white lady on the left. Handed it to the black man on the right. Here comes the cash. So we're going to go for the dealer. This will be the white lady. Go have a chat with her. This going to be the first time she doesn't run. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nope, she's running. Yeah, you better fucking stop, you heifer. You are under arrest for dealing narcotics. Let's see, drug dealing and fling. I have to hand another unit. So many citations. I didn't know that all those actions were illegal. I didn't know drug dealing and running from the police was illegal. I'm sorry. I have to search you. <laughs> this is the dumbest lot ever in a game ever. Switchblade and a bag of white powder, so we'll be able to attack that on as well. Possession of narcotics and the carrying a switchblade. The reason why you're under arrest is because you have committed multiple felonies. Okay, you handcuffed me, but is it really necessary to give me more charges? Uh, yeah, because that's what you did. You're being charged for what you did. <laughs> oh, man. Love the dialogue on this game. It's so retarded. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, call a transport. Backup requested to take Simple a as that. Into custody. I repeat, backup requested. I have had a few scenarios where you can get both of them, um, but most of the time you can only get one, so I always get the source of the drugs, which will be the dealer. So we got her. We got a 
Um, unit en route to come get her. You can hear it coming now. God, a body is loud. There he is. Good deal. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get this lady booked. Jump back out on patrol. We'll see what else we can find today. What in the world, man? I'm just lost for words at this point of these type of crashes. It was this uh, this vehicle right here. That was that was the that was the cause of that whole thing. Pulled out in front of the other person. I, I've actually seen accidents happen like that in real life, so that was actually pretty good. Oh gosh! Don't get hit. Go, go taxi cab, because I'm about to shut this off. This whole road's getting blocked off here. Let's see if I can back it up a little bit. It was just green a second ago. Here we go. And there. I'm currently busy with another issue. Let's go ahead and uh, just in call us there. So this whole road's blocked off. We don't need any more people coming down here because we already got quite a few folks that are. Looks pretty nasty. Thankfully, this lady and that person in the van isn't injured. So, uh, let's go ahead and start investigating. This was pretty rough. Pretty rough accident. Let's see what happened. Tell me what you saw. That person was driving left and right all over the road. But she turned in front of her. Unless I just, I'm getting the cars mixed up. I could be getting the cars mixed up. But I could have swore she pulled out in front of one of those people over there and it caused the accident. But if she's drunk, then, I mean, she's really no better. But we'll, we'll investigate it. Let's go and see your ID. Show me your ID and proof of insurance, if available, please. Here you go, officer. All right, Ruby Owens. Like insurance might be out of date. We'll, we'll take a look at it, and it is okay. Uh, no gun permits. Um, no violation record. That's pretty good. Pretty good. There are green crumbs on this person's shirt. Okay. Well, we're gonna definitely look into that. We'll definitely. Uh, searcher but uh, let's go ahead and do an alcohol and drug test all right I'm just collecting a sample to check if you've had any alcohol while driving nothing there we'll do a uh, drug test as well I'm just collecting a sample to see if you've used any drugs while driving good deal okie doke well let's go ahead and do a search on her because uh, she's definitely got um, cannabis all over her so I need to do a search on you to see that would constitute a search illegal. just smelling it alone would give me probable cause to search her so ounce of marijuana okay well that is legal 100% legal so nothing wrong with that um, but and she's not impaired or anything so that's good as well um, I don't have any reason to search the vehicle though um, so I mean, because technically she's out of the car, but I don't know. Maybe do I? Do I have? I don't know if I do. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't think I do because she's out of the car. If she was in the car and I pulled her over, then you know that's a different story. I could pull her out, search her, and the car. But anyway, all right. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Can you describe what you saw? I don't understand what happened, officer. You don't understand what happened. Well, I mean, if I got knocked out like I did, I wouldn't understand either. So. I'd like to see your driver's license and car insurance, please. Yes, officer. There you go. All right. Let's take a looky looky here. Convicted of forgery. Wow, you got quite the quite the list, man. Do have a gun permit, so. All right. Good deal. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do some tests on you for alcohol and drugs just to make sure you're safe to drive. All right. Let me just check to see if you're under the influence of alcohol. Perfect. Do a drug test as well. I'll take a sample to check if you've taken drugs before driving. Awesome. All right, well, you are good to go. Let's just search these two vehicles, or not search them, but just look at the two vehicle plates, make sure they're all coming back good. Make sure they add up to the right person. All right, I didn't look at the plate. Why are you looking at the plate? Not pulling the plate information when I look at it. 
There's no plate back there. Why is that not working? 4AH530. Okay, it's not pulling up. Let me look at her ID. Okay, so this is lady we just talked to. 4AH530 on the right. Okay, so it is registered to her. Um, just wanted to validate that just to make sure. I don't know why it wasn't pulling up. Alright, so I looked at this guy's um, working windshield. Not really worried about that. He just got in an accident. so um, And this pulls up the same guy. So, good deal there. Awesome. Alright, he's good to go. Let's talk to this lady. Tell me what you saw. She I'm is hammered. Driver. I was driving normally, officer. Yeah, you look like you drive normally. Can't even keep your hand on your shoulders. Let me see your driver's license and, if available, this vehicle's insurance, please. Okay, officer. There you go. All right. Miss Wynn, everything looks good. No gun permit or anything. Let's go ahead and do some tests on her. I have a feeling she's going to fail this first one. Please cooperate peacefully while I take a sample to check if you're drunk. There it is. She'll be going to jail today. You'll take a test to see if you've been driving under the influence of drugs. All right. Let's check this plate as well, just to make sure that one's good to go. Make sure it matches and everything. And it does. Well, they didn't pull it up. Nine K A four two seven. On KA four two seven. Okay, cool. All right, everything checks out here. Um, guess let's go ahead and take some pictures real quick. Make sure all that's good to go, and then we'll start handing out accident reports, and then we'll go over and charge that lady for DUI alcohol. Search the vehicle. Make sure all that stuff's good to go. And yeah, that'll that'll do it. Almost got a full progress bar, and I still got two more vehicles to get, so we'll probably get a few extra points here. Awesome. Alright, get this back of the bus. Yeah, we're definitely going to be getting some extra points. That's good, though. Hey, officer. Uh, can you please help me out? Everybody just likes to bother law enforcement. I mean, you clearly see I'm working, right? Everybody's got a smartphone, so, hey, you know. Uh, can you please help me out? Uh, no, You're I can't help go. you out. Bye. Can you stop bothering me? Thank you. Man, I like the feature, I get the feature, but man, they are annoying as crap. <laughs> they really are. I mean, everyone's got a smartphone. I need to know where to get, how to get to this coffee shop. Okay, well, Google it. <laughs> you know? Like, damn, man. Oh, good gracious. Alright, well, let's start handing out some accident reports. I love how this guy's just drinking in public. That should be a ticket, but I can't ticket him for that. I mean, let's see here, uh, issue violation. No, I can't, drinking in public. Oh, you're detained for drinking in public. You're being detained for drinking in public. It's not alcohol, officer. It's just juice. It's just juice. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just juice. <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't, actually, honest to God, I didn't think that that was an actual charge in this, so I, I'm kind of shocked. Um, because I wasn't going to actually stop him, but... All right, well let's let's go for it. Let's get his Please ID. Show me your ID. I know I just completely went off in a rabbit go, trail, but we'll get back on track here in a second. Oops. Convicted of cocaine possession and vehicle theft. Person is slurring. Gotta love it. All right, let's see if we can search him. Let's see. So, frisking is just five when a person displays abnormal behavior like shaking or nervousness, finding illegal weapons or drugs is a misdemeanor and justifies an arrest. Okay. Well, he's just slurring because he's drunk. So, let's just give him a ticket for drinking in public and call it a day. I have to fine you for drinking in public. It will cost you three hundred dollars. Oh come on! That's so much money. Well, you're the idiot that decided to sit here and drink in front of a cop at an accident scene. It's fine. Have a nice day. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, continue where we left off here. Let's go ahead and give this guy's accident report. Alright, here's your accident report. Uh, well documented and exhaustive report. Thank you, officer. Let him get out of here. Alright, 
You can go now. Drive safe. I'm not even sure if he'll be able to drive away in this. I'll probably have to tow it if he walks off. Okay, yep, so we'll go ahead and tow it. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. The wrecker will be there in a couple of minutes. Here's your accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. Alright, let me go get this road barrier out of the way real quick so this tow truck can come through. And we'll put this back in. Perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, now we can continue. We gave her accident report. Let's go and let her get out of here. All clear. You're free to go. Stay safe and have a great day. I have to call another tow truck for this too. I'd imagine she's going to walk away as well. You going to walk away or what? Lady, what? I'm towing it. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. I need to wreck I how they just stand location, around please. like do something. Sure. It will be with you shortly. All right, let's go ahead and charge her now. Um, let me go back in here just to make sure I got everything I need. Um, we'll just be charging her for the DUI alcohol, I believe. So let's go ahead and do that. I have to arrest you for DUI. Please, no. All right, then we'll search her, make sure she's uh, got no weapons on or anything illegal. Oh my gosh, that car was loud as crap. Jeez, my ears. I have to search you. Kindly cooperate with me. A ninja star and human teeth. Gotta love it. Alright. Sit tight, lady. We're gonna go ahead and search her vehicle. Make sure everything is good to go there. Pocket watch, laundry bill. USB drive, some random junk. Check the back here, and then we'll work our way around the vehicle. Go see if we can, uh,. Search the other side. Yo. See if we can get the back seat here and not get glitched out. Smartphone. Cool. Kind of glitching through the wall here, but it's working. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. All right, good deal. Let's get this thing towed off. I have a vehicle off. here that needs towing. I need a wrecker at my current location, please. Please proceed with me to the police car. That's a location that's easy to reach. It'll take some time, but we'll take care of it in the next 24 hours. Awesome. All right, let me go take this lady in. We'll put her in the back of the car for now. Move off this barrier. Let this tow truck get a get this vehicle here. And Watch we'll head to the head, precinct, please. get her booked, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's take you to the cell. What a freaking shift, man. I'll tell you what. It has been super glitchy. It's been about a week since I last played this game, and I'll tell you what. I don't know if maybe they made some update behind the scenes or anything. I don't think my All game right, updated, right. but maybe they did. I don't know what they did, though, but, man, this has been a pretty, pretty bad experience. Um, lots of glitches, lots of chaos. It's I've spent more time just driving around than I actually have done doing calls, so... Lots of stuff I've edited out of just driving around, calls not populating. Um, I don't know, hopefully they fix it. I have heard rumors that there's a new update coming. I don't know what that's going to entail, but hopefully it's something good. Let me know if you guys still enjoy this. Um, if you guys continue to want to watch this, I'll definitely keep making more. But um, definitely with the update coming, I'll definitely make something on that whenever it drops, if it even does. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll uh, keep going if you guys like it. But uh, anyway... With that, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop us a like if you did enjoy. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes. And that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.